the government has requested two weeks from the National Labor Commission to resolve the grievances of the Civil and Local Government Staff Association. Now, CLOSAC has threatened a strike of a full payment of interim premium for its members. The National Labor Commission invited the parties Clarksa and the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations to resolve the issues. Clarksa is demanding the full payments of his premium for over 55,000 civil servants across the country. The Employment Ministry requested two weeks to allow it and Clarksa to resolve the premium payment. We'll be given two weeks to look at the issues. So we are going back. We will re-strategize. That's even that by so next week, third March, we are not likely to see any strike. We are going back and then we will strategize. Deputy Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Bright Rekubobi, commended Clogsack for suspending the strike. These are people who advise and support government. And we cannot be washing our dirty linen in public. So we have pleaded for two weeks to go and engage. So we'll come back here with full assurance that whatever discussions I will have, it will be a win-win situation for both parties. The executive secretary explained why his members wore red armbands to the meeting. You know, when you look at the colors of Clossack, it's white, red, and black. So red is our color. It's part of our attire. So there's nothing wrong with it. But when you begin to sing and chant songs well, in the premise of the Labour Commission, is we it are motivating fun? ourselves. We sought to find out from the Deputy Minister whether he felt intimidated by the red armed bands. These are normal Labour, you know, engagements. So I was not intimidated, and that's their spirit, you know. So I, 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 I was rather enthused, and I think that. They have been very warm, they've been acceptable, they have understood what government has put to them. 